Hi guys, this is the second video, and it's helping a draw draw an eye, a realistic eye for beginners. This is the gonna um, I'm gonna use um one pencil method. All you need is an eraser and a sharpener if it gets super dull. It runs out, or maybe it breaks. Um, so all you need is that. You don't need any face equipment. So I'm just gonna zoom in the page so it's a little bit clear. Let's see. Okay. What you do first? I'm gonna make it bold so you guys can see it properly. You just draw like a half circle. That's for the top of the eye. Second thing you do is you make a little curve. You come out. Make sure. You don't go super steep down, it just kind of curves down gently. It comes around just the eye. This is not a professional realistic eye, just, you know, for beginners. Okay. What you do is do a light little layer, uh, start from here, and go down. And it kind of, co kind of goes to the eye and makes itself bigger at the end and curves around. Okay, so let's do the tip here and it curves down here. Um, and then here, make this. That's the thing that, you know, in the eye. And you just make a little shape inside, you know, make where the highlights are. So it should look about like this. Okay. The second thing you do, start about here. And you come around, that's a little, um, flap. I don't know what it's called, flap in the eye. So that's like that. So that's your basic shape of the eye. Now for the iris. Okay. So the bottom has to just touch around and come back up. Just like that. So it might not look perfect at the first time, but that's that's, that's okay because I've been drawing a lot. So what you do is make it darker because I usually draw woman's eyes and they usually have makeup on to make them, you know, more pretty and realistic because girls usually wear makeup. So you just copy it around the bottom, the last in the eye, and it kind of stops because the eyeliner usually stops. So, let's so hold it out. I like to do a little tip to make it, you know, all pretty. Okay, so right here in this thing, you shade it with your pencil lightly. Really lightly. Lightly. And if you do have, um, pe uh, like, shading pencils, like, drawing pencils, you know, shading, like, HB, 2B, kind of pencils like that, you would probably use, um, an H, mm, H2 for this. So you shade it lightly, and then you smudge it with your finger, if you don't have any shading tools. Smudging with your fingers. And then you go in here. Okay, let me zoom in so you guys can see. Okay. That's better. Okay. And you, and you stop around here. You make a little dark line. You stop around here. So we'll pass the half line of the iris and the beginning of the eye. What do you do? So take it dark. Dark. Go lighter. 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 So it goes out. Light. And it doesn't have to be perfect, because what you're going to smudge, come out, smudge that way. Smudge that way. From here, down, from here, down. Alright. Let's do that and touch it up. Make it a little bit better. And then you take the eraser part, and you put a little highlight, a little light, where the light is reflecting, like that. So, you got this part. And erase any shading down here. And you do here, what you do is you shade it super light. So you would use an H4 for this if you have. What's it under here? Something under here. Make it yeah, but do like that. And you make a little shadow here to so make it a bit darker. Just a little bit darker. I know it looks weird right now, but. It would look good. It would look real good. <laughs> uh, let's make a shadow part because that's, that's from here. 
and it gives a shadow off here because it's, you know, to make it look 3D-ish. And you make a little, little highlights here. Hi. Then you next, you take the iris, iris, yeah, iris, and you make it darker because the tend, the outside tends to be darker. A little darker. All right. And then you make a decent sized circle in the middle. And you make a little indication of a highlight. That's what a highlight's gonna be. Try to make it a little bit darker. I'm just trying I'm just trying to be bold so you guys can see it. Let me zoom out it's better. No, I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay. Okay, what you do is I usually draw uh, like blue eyes because they have more like blue kind of light eyes because they have more detail in them because brown usually don't see the detail inside the iris so all you do is you're gonna shade and use like use the side of the pencil not like the tip but the side of the pencil to shade it so you can just hold it like this I do and I put it down flat so it gives a little shading pencil that and you just shade around don't shade in the highlight just shade around it like that okay next what you're gonna do is you're gonna color in as dark as you can go just don't push too hard so you don't break it but all you're gonna do is just go really dark the phone just rang so that's why if you hear it go music in the background that's my phone ringing um right here because it still gives it a dark part, you're gonna put it. Oh, indication. You're gonna smudge it down. From up to down, up to down, up to down. And right here, you're gonna s smudge really lightly around. But if you have a shading pencil. <laughs> shading. <laughs> I usually use it, but you have a shading like thing to shade it. I do, but I prefer pencil. I just. Not sure my finger, you're gonna get your finger dirty though. That's okay, it's washable. It's good. Um, yeah. Next is you're gonna go in here and out the outside and you're gonna draw like make it um this is like a bigger version, but all you're gonna do is you're gonna draw like this around. So let me zoom in. Oh we can't zoom anymore, okay. So what you're gonna do is do that, and it stops these two places. Don't go all the way around. Stop right here and right here. Come around. It's kind of like a toothbrush, you know. Look at that. I don't know, because sometimes eyes have that, and eyes are really different. I'm, I'm just drawing an eye, you know. Kinda, all eyes are different. Like, if I was looking at a photograph, I would try to draw it, it was gonna it's gonna be different because I you know it's okay if it looks different. What you're gonna do is make light light just um lines going across because that's the and these go all the way around. And if you want you want you can just make a little indication of little random lines coming across there so kind of like that if you want to do that and right here you're going to color a little bit darker into around where the pupil starts kind of like that it's dark and what you do is take the eraser make a little highlight you know, around the eye around the pupil again and then take the eraser and make this a little bit darker make sure it's evil coloring so it doesn't look like you color it and just make a little highlight and if it gets out too big just color some in and make it a little bit smaller so like that Alright, so you got the basic shape of the eye. Now comes the hard part, which is the eyelashes. I think it's the hardest part because you need to get that slipping kind of motion. So what you do is, 
take that, it's gonna be a vision. Go like this. That. Like that. So you take it out, curve it, and let it go out. Let it go out. Let it go out. Let it go out like that. And once you go around the eye, it's gonna be different. So what you're gonna do is start at the beginning, make these ones big and flaring out. Do that until the center. And so you can just touch them up. Make sure you go to make them stick. Okay, so once you get to the middle, what you're gonna do is kinda making them now go this way. But not as big, only small ones. Somebody's popping out big. So and then once you get into here, make them all small and down. Like that. And that gives a very 3D look of the eye. Just touch it up. And then right here you're gonna make a little indication of reflection. And that's your choice, you don't have to do that. Sometimes I like to do that. So see it goes around. And you can touch it up. She's wearing mascara. It's very pretty on her. And you're gonna get a draw a little line. Not too bold, just a little line underneath, and usually it's kind of like the big under the eye. And right here, what we do is start like that, make very small, make them very spaced out, and kind of, and about right here, kind of start making them it's kind of like straight, and they're all messed up in different direction. And once you get going more into here, make them bigger. So I'm just gonna add the brow. Wait. Um, so it's gonna start right up about right here. All you do is make a little brush, like brush, 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 brush. Like your um I don't know. Drawing hair, I guess. And if you ask me, is the eye the hardest part of the body to draw? I mean the face of the draw? Face? No. No. I don't think it is. So it ends about right here and right here. Now what you do is you shade. Right here. Shade the whole thing and smudge it all. So right here you go like this, this way. That gives a 3D look. Like this. Like I should. So it kind of looks like that. What you do is come around right here. And go like this. I give it to you, and that goes into the nose. Rather than do the nose, and you're gonna go to stop here. You're gonna shade it here. And that's how to draw an eye, guys. It might take a couple of tries, but thank you. You're gonna do really good if you keep practicing, because I was practicing all my life. And oh, oh, sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Like, subscribe, and comment.